Hello, my name's Beth and I'm here with Richard Thomas, editor of Unmanned Vehicles magazine. We've been here in Dallas all week at AEVSI's Exponential. And while the show has had a commercial focus, there has been some military news out of the show. Ahead of the show, Lockheed Martin showcased their ground vehicle, the SMSS, which they're going to be putting forward for the US Army's SMET program. And Air Environment showcased a new nano drone, the Snipe, which is based off of its development of the Hummingbird UAV with DARPA. So in terms of the commercial aspect of the show, how has it been on the show floor? Um, as you say, it's obviously very, very commercial-centric around the show. We've got a range of new quadcopters and multi-rotors. Um, I guess the question that we asked at the start of the show was how much of a market uh, there is for them and whether each business will get enough of a share to make themselves sustainable in it. Um, but if you're looking for a theme, I think, for the show, autonomy is what it is. We had uh, Intel uh, showcasing some of their autonomous technologies. Uh, but what they've been interesting to point out is the need for for the industry to move beyond being simple platform manufacturers to what you do with the data and how you disseminate it to various customers. That's crucial for them in how data is used to affect businesses. And last year we saw quite a few companies develop new business units specifically targeted at the commercial sector. So 12 months on, how are those units looking? Uh, it's a mixed bag. Some have done okay. Others have done, we suspect, less than okay. Um, in situ, of course, this year marked the first year of their commercial of, of the startup of their commercial business unit um, what they've done is they've drafted in the former head of their Asia Pacific office and he's taken over the North American market uh, what they think is that if they can break into the North American market commercially what they said to us was the rest of the world will follow okay brilliant well thanks for that Richard um, so we've been at the show all week so do check out our website for all the news coverage and videos and we'll see you next year at AUVSI Exponential in Denver